Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So, I don't know if you guys have seen this yet, but Richard Allen, aka possibly Bridge Guy from the Delphi Murders. I mean, most likely it is. I mean, that's what law enforcement's saying, so I trust them. They're pretty confident. So, he wrote a letter requesting basically counsel. You know, he needs a lawyer, and um, I want to read it to you. Okay. So, it says, of course, to Carroll Circuit Court, and those. I don't know what this is, identify or something? Oh, now going back editing it, I see what it says. It says, and those associated. Um, okay, so it's got the case number, and let's read it. In the So I don't know if this is supposed to be case, but or case with cause. I guess either can make sense, but I'll just read. I'm just going to read it how he has it written, because there are a couple little mistakes, but I'm just going to read it exactly how it's written. So, in the cause listed above, I... Richard M. Allen, hereby throw myself at the mercy of the court. I am begging to be provided with legal assistance in a public defender or whatever help is available. At my initial hearing on October 28, 2022, I asked to find representation for myself. However, at the time, I had no clue how expensive it would be just to talk to someone. I also did not realize what my wife and I's immediate financial situation was going to be. We have both been forced to immediately abandon employment. Myself due to incarceration and my wife for her personal safety. She has had to abandon our house for her own safety. What little reserve there is will fail to even maintain the original residence. Again, I throw myself at the mercy of the court. Please provide me with whatever assistance you may. Thank you for your time in this most urgent matter. Sincerely, Richard M. Allen. So that's that. So I also wanted to read this document. Keegan Klein, motion to continue the jury trial. So we got State of Indiana, County of Miami, State of Indiana versus Keegan Klein. is dated 11-8. So motion to continue the jury trial. Comes now the defendant Keegan Klein by counsel, Andrew A. Aikie, and respectfully requests that this court continue the jury trial scheduled on January 18th, 2023 at 8 a.m. through January 20th, 2023 at 8 a.m. and January 23rd, 2023 at 8 a.m. Through January 27, 2023 at 8 a.m. In support of said motion, the defendant states as follows. The matter is currently scheduled for final pretrial conference on December 22nd, 2022 at 10 a.m. And for the jury trial on uh, January 18th, 2023 at 8 a.m. Through January 20th, blah, blah, blah. We already went through all that. But then it says that the parties are currently engaged in negotiations that the prosecutor Peter T. Diedrichs was con contacted regarding this motion and he has no objection to this motion to continue the jury trial. That this motion to continue is not being made to unnecessarily delay the proceedings and that any delay as a result of this motion shall be attributable to the defendant for purposes of Indiana Criminal Rule 4. Wherefore, counsel for the defendant moves this court to continue the jury trial to May 10th 2023 at 8 a.m. through May 12th. So basically, yeah, they're just uh, setting the dates. They're just, uh, yeah. So we got the pretrial January and then the uh, actual jury trial is in May. And, but this is for Keegan, so I don't know. They have this highlighted. The person that posted it. Just wanted to read that for you guys. And, and then don't forget Friday, we are going to read the transcripts. Me, Sleuthy, and um, Autumn. We're going to read the uh, Keegan transcripts, which is actually, you know, I know I had read parts of them before on my channel, but I feel like they're taking on a whole different meaning now that we know more information. So now when we look at them, we're, we could actually look at them a little bit differently, I feel like. At least I am now. Like the first time I read them, I feel like I, I perceived them in a way. The second time I even perceived him in less of a way, I feel like, if that makes any sense, just because of the timing. But now this is going to be, reading him again, it's just going to bring on, like, a whole different perception because of now Richard being arrested and the good chance that there is some kind of connection now. Like, I feel like there's, a, I have a stronger feeling that there is a connection now to Delphi with Keegan. Because when they first came out, I thought there was. And then when I read him, like, after they had been out months, like, kind of a few months ago... I was like, hmm, maybe not. And then, and now viewing it, reading through them, it's, yeah, it's just taken on a whole different meaning. Like, I really feel strongly that there is a connection to the murders now, uh, more than I have ever felt <laughs> with these transcripts, even the first time I read them when I thought there could be. 
now I really uh, feel more confident that there is. So I feel like I'm going to pay attention to every little detail, you know, and like every little detail in there should be looked at further. I feel like if we want to figure out what happened to these girls and how it all took place, how it all conspired to be, you know, how everything came to be, I feel like. So we do have to pay attention to these little details and they aren't just, not like the before that they weren't important, but as far as for Delphi, I wasn't sure if following every little lead and detail on these transcripts was going to like give us any answers in Delphi. But now I do believe that it can because I do believe there's a, a strong connection. So what that is, I don't know yet. I know we have some theories, but nobody knows for sure. But that's why I think it's important to read these for you guys and maybe something will stick out for somebody and, and we'll, uh, we'll be able to uh, catch something, you know, as we're reading them. So, all right, guys. Have a good day, everybody. Bye. I know that kindness is the answer we're all looking for. I know that love could be the thing that opens any door. Maybe I've been naive before, but I'm not anymore.